Hey, it's Phil from SmilingGardener.com. We're talking about biointensive gardening in this series. And the next step to improving your soil is composting. And composting brings many benefits into the garden. It's going to bring broad spectrum nutrition into your garden from many different sources. It's going to bring beneficial biology into your garden if it's a nice well-made compost pile. And it's going to improve the soil by holding on to more water, providing more spaces for air, sequestering toxins. Uh, there's a whole list of things that compost does and the biointensive method of composting is great. They're making aerobic compost, so they're promoting the air-breathing microorganisms which tend to be the most beneficial for our gardens. They are not turning the pile too frequently, so it does take longer, but it retains more nutrients, a little bit more of a, a cooler compost pile. They're not keeping it hot all the time. They are adding a little bit of soil into the compost process at the beginning, which is great to establish a stronger compost, a better clay humus complex in the compost. Uh, and they are even advocating for the use of human manure, which I think is great as long as your manure is relatively toxin free. It's great to be bringing that back into the garden. We want to be recycling all of this stuff instead of sending it away somewhere else and including the things that we find on our property. So in the developed world, a lot of people send their leaves and twigs and dead plants off somewhere else to be dealt with somewhere else. In the developing world, a lot of this stuff gets burned in big, big fires. And we really need to be saving this fertility on our site. Every time we move that away, we're shipping fertility off of our site. So some of that can be used as a mulch, but some of it can also be used to make a, a nice compost pile. So everything that can be kept on site should be kept on site in some way. And so composting is a great way to do that. Uh, what I also like about the biodynamic method of composting is they understand that you can use too much compost. There is such a thing as too, too much compost. And what happens there is you can really create some fertility imbalances in the soil if you are using too much compost at once. And I know a lot of gardening experts uh, still in many books I read that are still published nowadays advocate using many inches of compost as I used to do when I very first started because you get so enamored with compost that you just want to use a lot of it. But it's better to use just a little and nowadays I use just maybe a quarter inch of compost each year max because I want to just bring in that beneficial biology and bring in a little bit of that, those beneficial nutrients without throwing things too out of whack. It's the same with fertilizing. You just want to use a little bit out of time, a little bit at a time, so you're not causing too much of a ruckus in your, in your soil there. Uh, the other thing I will say about composting is that uh, in the biointensive method, you're using all of the materials from your own site, which is great because we want to be sustainable and everything. But I, I have no problem with bringing in a little bit of materials from off-site especially if I'm trying to establish a more of a fertile compost because if you're always just recycling your own materials without ever having corrected the nutrient deficiencies in your soil, then you're always going to be continuing with those nutrient deficiencies. So even if you're just buying some of your food uh, from off-site, which most of us are, putting that into the compost bin is going to bring in some different nutrients in there. And if you do get something from a local farmer, whether it be manure or straw or leaves from your neighbors down the street or something like that, having more diverse inputs in your compost is going to make sure that you have more of a diverse nutritional and biological compost. So uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about compost today. I, right here I have some half-finished compost, which was basically mostly from some leaves and some wood. Uh, which so it is a decent mulch right now and by the time it gets well broken down It's going to become more of a decent compost and then when I would use it is especially before I'm if I am going to be doing any double digging I would spread that on the soil before I double dig and uh, Then dig it in when I'm digging it becomes part of the soil So that's all for today So I will put a link down below to a video where I show you how to build a good compost pile uh, If you're in the full Academy that we get to that in month Four, and if you're in, uh, we have four modules on that in month four. If you're in the Academy Light, I get to that uh, in one module in month three. So you can check it out there. Everyone else can go down below and check out my summary video of how to make a good compost pile. And now it's on to the next video in this biointensive gardening series. See you soon.